Every story has a beginning. It's been said that long before man walked the earth, there were those that came before. Unknowable beings and forces beyond our imagining. They brewed mirth and courage out of the stars themselves and held dominion over the very lands that we now call home. No one knows why they left or where they went, but they say on the longest nights the lonely mountains cast the shadows of those that came before. On one such night, from a past that we can now recall, the hills creaked and the streams forgot their song, and the Greenbrier Valley was cloaked in the twilight of the past. Though none can say what it was for sure, something came down from the hills that night. It flew on wings of shadow the flame of eons spreading from its eyes, and it unleashed a great resounding din, cleaving cloud and sky, until at last the light of some faraway star blinked out in its wake. And as the star fell, so too fell the beast. Down, 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 smashing hard into the ground, igniting a perfect storm of earth and air. And when the dust finally settled, neither star nor specter remained. When the sun rose, the people gathered, and what they found they still can't explain truth is, we'll never know. Nature has a funny way of seeing these kinds of things through. Why, the whole site slid into the river and was washed away that very day. What I can tell you is that life's a story we all share. And folks in these parts have been getting their drinking water from that river all their lives. It's the same water we use here at GVB to brew our beer, which we think you'll agree is worth talking about. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's true or not, but it makes for a hell of a story, doesn't it?